great start of next month on Wednesday. It'll be July already. Where is the year going, right? Oh, no. July. We don't July. mind July yet. July. Can you believe it? Over half the year is gone. No. So, yeah. Holy cow. Holy Toledo. Whatever you want to say. Holy <laughs> something. <laughs> so, anyhow, let's see if uh, if my friend has made it here. There she is. I'm going to move Cindy over to the panel, and we'll uh, then we'll have everybody that that was uh, going to be here. Okay. Cindy, if you want to um, unmute, or that you're unmuted, if you want to turn your camera on, if you want to be live on video as well, you can do that. I, I, I speak up. Let's see if we can hear your microphone. Can you see me? I can hear you. You can hear me? Yep. On the um, lower left corner of your screen, there should be an icon for turning the camera on if you want to be live that way. Uh, not finding it. Oh, shit. I lost you. Hold on. All right. It's still there. I'm sitting outside, so I can't see squat. Okay. So well, there's no squat so, to see right now. So sometimes um, you have to put your finger down at the bottom and pull something up if you're on the phone to see the video. Same with the computer. You put your mouse to the bottom of the page. Can you find it? No. I can see you guys. Okay. Well, let's just go this way. We can. We're gonna have a couple other uh, testimonials where there won't be any video on it as well. So, well, hey everyone. My name is Dr. Fisnick. It's uh, Friday night uh, here. In, there, your camera's coming on, Cindy. There you are. It's okay. Friday night uh, up here in North America, and, and uh, we've got a panel of people from, uh, from North America on the call, and then we've got some recorded um, testimonials as well. I that'd be a great way to end of the month with some stories of how these products could work. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Right on, right on. So for those of you that are on the call, thanks for spending your evening with us if you're in North America. If you're down in Australia or New Zealand, uh, thanks for jumping on this morning and, and, and uh, sharing uh, some time with us and, and uh, being part of the call. And for those of you that are on Facebook, you know, thanks for being here as well. Give us a thumbs up. You know, give me the heart symbol. Um, if you want to comment where you're from and, and make comments during the, during the video as well. I, it, uh, it gives us some feedback on, on what's going on. And, and uh, we like that, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah, and cool. even if they Andrea. see it later, they can come in and ask questions and we can answer them. That's right. Andrea and I do a call every Tuesday primarily on products and how they're related to your health. And so um, so uh, we do that every week and, and uh, this call. Now, um, for those of you that are that are on a regular, on the call regularly, um, as you know, we moved the call back an hour this week. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the call every, um, every other week from now on. Every other week. And there, the reason for that is because uh, uh, corporate is doing a, a call also on Friday nights, um, and they do it every other week. And so we're going to try and rotate with them and do it at the same time that they're doing their calls so that we don't have people sitting on conference calls for three hours on Friday night. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. And then Andrea and I were talking this morning. Um, we're going to we're gonna try and do some testimonials just uh, – I guess I'll just call them pop-up testimonials. Now, we'll try and do two or three a week. And just at various times, you might see one at 10 o'clock in the morning on a, on a Sunday, and the next time might be 11 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday. It just it's going to vary. And, and that way we can continue to do the testimonials, and then we'll try and pull them all together into a library for you. So how's that sound? That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Yeah. So they'll always be on Doc. Doc, um, doctor's clinic, doctors with friends. Yep. Live. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Or you can always go to our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash sizzle world team and you subscribe to the channel, every time we put up a new testimonial, you'll be advised. You'll get a notification that says that, um, that, the, that a new video was put up. Right. So subscribe and click on the bell. There you go. Boom. All right. Well, let's get this started. You know, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to uh, my friend Cindy. None of you have really met Cindy before. Um, she's been on the products probably as long as, as most of us. And uh, um, we started getting her started with the products and had some great testimonials with her daughter. And she's just just started kind of active with the business. So Cindy, if you'd like to share a little bit about what have Sizzle products done for you and your family? Um. Just to give you a little bit of background, my daughter has multiple diagnoses, um, including ADHD, um, developmental delay, as well as a couple of other ones, including autism. And I use brain vitality with her. And I have only been doing one tablet a day and have seen a difference. Um, I need to order some more product because we ran out but I'm going to start doing two tablets a day with her, especially with this homeschooling, because her attention really scatters with um, the distractions in the house, including the dog. <laughs> so, but it makes a world of difference, not just in her ability to concentrate, but it makes a world of difference in her mood. Um, her mood is much more stable when she takes it even with all the medicines that she's on from the doctor, it seems to enhance those meds and make them work better. Um, and I can't say enough about that product. That is just, I've even got a friend of mine whose son is autistic that has now started her son on it. Right. And I haven't talked, yeah, I haven't talked to her lately. Um, I'm probably gonna give her a call here this next week because she just started it a couple weeks ago and see if she's noticed a change. Because I know a big difference in Brina when she doesn't take it. Oh, I remember before Brina was taking the brain vitality, when, um, you know, when, when I first week, right before we got her started, she wouldn't even, she wouldn't even talk, she wouldn't look over at me or anything. And no. now, now we can sit and have a conversation. So it's- but Now it's she's a social butterfly. <laughs> yeah. She's a social so, butterfly. What else has, have, have you noticed since you started taking the products? Um, I have also used um, Fucoidin, which I like. Um, the other one is the, um, no boy, I'm gonna draw a mind blank here. Looks like you need brain vitality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have um, to slip yourself some. <laughs> yeah. But of the I think three, you did, you, the age pill, right? You were taking that. Yes, yes, I like that one too. I have more energy when I am taking that. I don't always remember because that's just I get too busy sometimes and forget what I'm doing. There but I do know. like the age pill. Um, it seems to give more energy. I seem to have more get up and go with the age pill. Um, I have also used the sizzling which i like um i really like the vanilla one mixed with juices and stuff it helps curb appetite and helps lead to weight loss so i really enjoy that product um, yeah. and there's a few other ones that i have tried um there's some that have come out that i would like to try and just haven't gotten around to it yet so yeah. Well, as we build your business, you know, and you start making some money, then what you do is then you, you take your extra money and you spend it on extra product. That's exactly what I plan on doing. All right. Well, Cindy, thanks for jumping on with us tonight and sharing your story. Um, let's come out to uh, to uh, Canada and we'll go out and we'll talk to Rennie Ferguson. Rennie, it's been a while since we've had you uh, do a testimonial for us. And I know um, last night when we were talking, you said there's um, not a lot of things that have changed. But, you know, share with us, what uh, what have you noticed since you started taking the products and, and how has it changed your life? Well, I've, um, 
I've had numerous uh, good experiences with them, but I don't think I've ever spoken on the fact that I've had some really significant gastrointestinal issues. Um, I was basically housebound for about five years with colitis. I mean, I knew where every bathroom in this town was. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's not a pleasant disease. Uh, and of course, um, specialist, her advice was to go on steroids and have an ileostomy, which probably most of you are aware of is having everything removed and having um, a bag and a stoma. So my thought on that was no thank you. Um, so I wasn't prepared to, to go down that road. And um, it's interesting because she never talked about anything um, that may be irritating, you know, um, the whole stomach and the process and, and everything else and um, like sugar. And I think a lot of it, you know, my body does not like sugar. So my body is actually doing what it should do in um, trying to get rid of that. But it was also interesting because my trainer and one thing too, I must say with the doctors, oh, you must be allergic, you know, get off milk, get off all that sort of stuff. We're here, my trainer suggested I get on whole milk because it helps create the mucus in your micro microbiome, which immediately I noticed benefit from that. So, I mean, there you go. And yet the doctor's saying, no, get off, go on soy and, you know, or almond milk or something like that. But when I did notice, um, the age pill was really significant in my journey for healing um so and of course i've remained on 12 a day um and part of that is because i've had the beginning stages of osteopenia we've talked about that where i've reversed that completely and again i feel that the age pill has contributed hugely to that benefit um balance d and you often talk about balance d in relation to the gut being the, the center of all of our health issues are the beginning of them. Um, that too, because I've, of course I've been on different probiotics and prebiotics, always believed in them. So balance D is truly different. I mean, you just notice more of a benefit when you start taking it, that's all there is to it. It's, it's like apples and oranges. So I also, um, Body Shield has also been part of that. You can really, I can really tell the difference when I'm taking the Body Shield. And, and also um, I do like sizzling vanilla and uh, that too, uh, my, my, dig my whole digestive tract just smiles with that. So yeah, those are the, probably the products that are sort of been the strongest in that, but um, I'm healthy as anything now. So you don't, you, you're, um, your gut problems, the loose stools and that has that cleared up completely now oh yeah yeah i tell you i can poop with the rest of them now no problem <laughs> so, so when you're right when you're running around town everybody everybody at the store and the gas station they're they're missing you <laughs> yeah. yeah like i was i was housebound i couldn't even go out for a run you know i mean it was it was horrible and i know there's worse diseases but colitis is really shitty <laughs> <laughs> crappy deal <laughs> That's right. yeah it's not a good journey and uh, this is a family channel you can't words like that <laughs> what's this <laughs> it is the family channel you can't use those words <laughs> well, look, that but, looks yeah, amazing. like i i am healthy 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 ball movements now so life is good but what a turnaround you know, for right. one specialist saying that there's no, you have no other choice. You're going to be on steroids and have an ileostomy. I mean, good gosh. Where's yeah. the gut? If I have to go down that road. I'm be. glad to hear that's doing better for you. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Thanks for coming back and, and giving your <laughs> testimonial again. Yeah, you bet. You're very welcome. All right. <laughs> let's, let's run to Michigan and, and talk to our friend Andrea. You know, Andrea has been on the products uh, you know, for a couple of years now, so if you want to jump up here and take the, take the microphone. Yeah, 3.5 years, Doc. 3.5 years. Yeah. Right. Wow. Um, well, 
you know, Rennie's like talking about something where inflammation is involved in that a lot. And I've discovered that Fucoidin is absolutely wonderful for inflammation in the body, as well as our H2 sticks, which makes hydrogen water or hydrogen, free hydrogen um, to go in and um, use in the body. So what happened with me uh, when I started taking Fucoidin, I could immediately feel that the inflammation went out of my intestines. And I, I've probably been without glucoid maybe 12 to 15 days in the last three to five years, three, three point five years. It's just a product I want to take every day because the research shows that it reduces inflammation. It magnifies your immune system greatly. And I heard that it like energizes the body also. So I love to take that product. Um, one of the testimonies I have on that is a lot of people who do natural health understand that like if you get a urinary tract infection, you can go drink pure cranberry juice and it will clean the bacteria out of the bladder and typically clear up your urinary tract infection, right? Um, so one night about a year and a half ago, I, I started having the symptoms of having a urinary tract infection and um, in the past, if the few times I've gotten them, it just comes on really strong and it's like you absolutely know that's what's going on. And I went, oh man, it's like nine o'clock at night and I can't get to a health food store to get pure cranberry juice, right? So I went, what do I got? What do I got? So I went, oh, I wonder if Fucoidin would do that, you know? So I drank a fourth a cup of Fucoidin and that was nine o'clock. I went to bed at 11. And my symptoms had subsided pretty much all the, all the way by 11. And so I took another fourth of a cup because I thought, well, we'll just, you know, knock this out overnight and got up in the morning, took regular dose. And I never got any further discomfort from, you know, a urinary tract infection. So, so from, from nine o'clock when you took your first dose to when you woke up the next morning, you noticed that all the symptoms of the, of the urinary tract infection had been gone. They were gone, yep. Wow. And um, the H2, I also get, you know, I can just feel like my, I feel like my stomach gets all happy when I drink that. And um, one night, uh, I, I try to do a keto diet and I love Snickers candy bars. They're my downfall. And uh, so I was just really craving one one day and I went, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go get one and have it, you know? So was in town and I stopped at a store and I, in my head, I'm doing the do it, don't do it, do it, don't do it, you know, <laughs> and fighting with myself. And finally I went, you know what? They've got Adkins products here. I'll just run and get some of their chocolatey, ooey gooey, nutty stuff, you know, and drink, eat that instead of a Snickers. So at least it won't have sugar in it. And so I, I got a box and I was sitting around that night watching um, YouTube videos like for quite a while that night. And I ate one and they're not very big. They're like the size of your index finger. And it was really yummy because I hadn't had anything like that in a long time. And so pretty soon I ate another one and then a couple hours later I ate another one and then I went to bed and 20 minutes after I fell asleep I woke up with so much pain in my insides it wasn't even like diarrhea pain it was worse than that and I'm like oh my gosh what is that so I went and looked at that label on that and it had alcohol sugars in it didn't know what alcohol sugars were so I googled that and it's talking about intestinal problems if you eat too much and all of this. And I'm like, oh no, what have I got? And I was in serious pain. So I'm like, do I do Fucoidin well, or do I do the H2? So I, I H2 won out and I thought, oh, I have to wait 15 minutes for it to activate. I don't know if I can wait 15 minutes, <laughs> but I did. And I took it and I'm not kidding. 15 minutes later, I was out of pain. Wow. 15 minutes. Yeah. I did have gas all night, but it, nothing hurt. All right. <laughs> so well, it, thanks. it must have gone in and, you know, done that little chemical reaction that it does. Like when it's getting rid of free radicals, you know, 
connected yeah. to some things in there and changed them, changed them into gas and got rid of them. Neutralized a few things. Yeah, yeah. So, so did that. Now, recently, of course, you know, we've all been using the new product, Stimuletics. Mm -hmm. And um, I am in my, I think I'm on my third month of taking Stimuletics. And I, I noticed that I take it at night and I noticed the next day I like pop up really fast. I kind of expected that the next day I'd be a little bit draggy because that's the day your body's cleaning out all the, the junk, you know, that you got rid of. And um, I don't, though. Usually the day after I take it, I'm, like, up, re ready, and raring to go. Like, it's been really good. And my skin is amazing. It's okay. amazing. Yeah. I noticed that. You've you really, in the last three years, you've really noticed some changes with that. So, good. Yep. Thanks for sharing your, your story with us. And we... Uh, we expect to kind of keep up with you from time to time, just like we're doing with Randy and Cindy and, and just uh, having you report on how you're doing. So thanks for sharing with us tonight. And okay. a spur of the moment, you know, I know I hadn't asked you before the call to jump on, but no you problem. always do good. You always do good. So, well, let's go, um, let's go do some, uh, I've got some testimonials that we recorded. Um, a couple of people weren't able to make it on the call. So this is, uh, this is my friend, uh, uh, Willard Peterson. Um, and uh, he played with uh, Steve Miller Band, and he uh, was a runner-up in the Olympics. But let's listen to him now. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today, uh, Willard Peterson. We are uh, recording this. And uh, basically, you know, you've had some great results with the, with the, with the products. I thought first what we what we'd maybe do is, is share with people, you know, how old are you now approximately? Uh sixty nine and a half. You know, you gotta be sixty nine and a half. You can't be seventy, right? Right. It's like you're a little kid again and you gotta use the half marks. <laughs> like I'm a little kid. Well you know I am, man. I never grew up. Never grew up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see that on your Facebook page. They they say they, 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 you, you say on there that you never grow up. Yeah, you can't grow up, man. And I'm, I'm still in school, and uh, you never grow up. Terminal adulthood, I'm allergic to that, man. That's right. Terminal adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know, um, but throughout your life, I mean, you've always kept yourself in pretty good shape. I know at the age of uh, 28, um, you decided to go uh, kind of away from the rock and roll lifestyle to go back to being an athlete. And you competed um, in, the, in the Olympics in 1980. Well, in the Olympic, uh, the trials, what, what I did is, is I, I was a, a, a speed skater, uh, a, a national runner-up champion, and uh, I was in great shape when I was a kid. But then uh, I started going on the road in the 60s with the Righteous Brothers, and uh, I got away from being an athlete. And, you know, when you're 16, 17 years old on the road with a famous rock group, you – lose sight of <laughs> maybe the athleticism and stuff and you, you know, so I developed this other lifestyle. And then actually, even when I got off the road, I was still in high school with those guys. Um, I was 19. I got, I got married real young and uh, had a baby, the Tracy, you know, my daughter, Tracy. And uh, I, I got back into athletics uh, actually, you know, just because I wanted to stay in shape and I was still a young guy. I was 20 years old, but I'd gotten out of shape and I, I didn't like my lifestyle. You know, so, I got back into uh, racing locally, speed skating with the open senior men's class. And then I kept doing it because I had a, I enjoyed skating, the Zen part of skating. And I started winning uh, national medals with, you know, the senior men class in my 20s. And so I said to my wife, I said, holy smokes, I, did, I didn't think I'd, I'd be this good and this competitive with these guys. And so she, uh, you know, we had a collective uh, little sit down. Yeah, talk and she said, "Well, you need to go to Milwaukee and start skating in these Olympic time trials." And I said, "Yeah, Are you kidding me, man." So I, anyway, long well, short story long, I did that and uh, and I started competing and I skated all all through the late seventies and early eighties, you know, in all those Olympic time trials. I didn't make the Olympic team, but I did skate against all those great skaters, Eric Hyden and Tom Plant, and all of our great, you know, uh, Eric Hyden, of course, his history, five gold medals. You know, in every event, and those were my running buddies, and uh, they still are. So 
<laughs> you know, get yeah. in the shape. And, and now we're just well, cool, the cool part about you. The cool part about that and why I brought that up is that, you know, um, now at the age of 70, I mean, you look at that, how many people, um, you know, just decide at the age of 28, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to try and go back into, you know, being, being, um, uh, a world-class athlete. You know, you weren't just, you weren't just saying, Hey, I'm going to get back into shape. I, you, you decide you're going to be a world-class athlete. Right, right. Well, I, I did, and I, the only re- the reason I did is because uh, my performance actually warranted when I started skating times that were competitive on a national level. So then you ask yourself the questions like, wow, if I don't do this now in my 20s and 30s, you know, uh, I'm not going to do it when I'm 45. <laughs> you know? Right. So I, my performance just kind of kicked my own butt and, and made me go, geez, i got to try this or I'll, I'll – uh, I'll be uh, disappointed if I didn't give it a try and, and skate in these time trials with these great, great athletes and great human beings, you know. Right. And and since then, you know, so for the last the last uh, 50 years of your life, then I mean, you just you've just uh, continued and never let back, and you've kept yourself in good shape. And and I know, yeah, you know, just from from being your buddy, that I mean, even before Sizzle, you were you were doing. Um, High quality, uh, high intensity, uh, uh, high potency nutritional products. Absolutely. I mean, that's been a, you know when you're when you're trying to compete on that level of athleticism with the best in the world, or you know, you've got to have the proper nutrition. So I was always heads up on nutrition, and, and I would talk to, to certain people that I had a lot of respect for, not certain diets, and, and what we needed to do, and and uh, and I was always up on that. You know, different books coming out, you know, eat to win was a big one. And, uh, you know, eat right for your blood type and all, all that stuff. So I've always had my nose in the wind on that stuff is, and, uh, you know, then when, when we met, of course, you know, uh, that, that history is, <laughs> that's a long history of, you know, we've known each other once we, we were trying to figure that out yesterday when I was hanging, we were hanging up, was it 15 or 16 years now? That's, you know? that's right. Yeah. And then we started talking about that stuff. And, you know, of course, you know, we've been running hard with, with sizzle and then, and, uh, you know, all these products that have, that have uh, kept me healthy, you know. And then, but, you know, this la- the latest one, man, which you uh, introduced me to was uh, this uh, stemolytic thing. And, you, you know, I always, when I come and see, I say, hey, Fizz, what should I be doing? And you say, man, you got to try this new product. You know? So I don't know if you're ready to talk about but I, I, uh, the new product from Shizna. So I, anyway, I, you know, I started, I, I you know, with, when I come out and see you, you say you gotta you gotta do this. This is Tom's newest uh, newest thing, and I said, okay, hit me. So yeah, anyway, it's got, yeah. It's got so I mean, yeah, yeah. So you know, we've been doing some stuff, anti aging stuff. You know, as far yeah. as like your stem cells and your telomeres and the L arginines and all these different things. And so yeah. I thought, yeah, that would be a, a great product to add to the to the blend, everything, because um, it just makes sense. You know, you go in and and. You remove the the old dead dying stem cells, the ones that are that are. I guess you know. I look at it as they're kind of the they're kind of the the the, the rioters in your body. They're kind they kind of act like like rioters. They try and and, and cause chaos. They cause they cause death to your other cells. They try and break down your body in as many ways as they possibly can. And uh, that's called that's called uh, uh, a senolytics is the study of that. But it's when those cells go into senescence. And so this new product called uh, Stemolytic, Tom came up with uh, um, basically in February is when it was launched. And yeah. so we got you on that. Uh, tell us a little bit about what have you noticed? Well, I didn't notice anything until about, you know, you, you know, you have me taking it. And I, I don't know if this, everybody does the same thing, but you said take these pills every other day, right? So yep. I didn't notice it till about the, you know, now I've been out of what? What a couple of when did you get that to? About three weeks ago when I was out there, or something? three weeks. Yeah, yeah. So I've been on it steady, steady since you, you know I started it. <clears throat> about the third, after the third, you know, uh, uh, time I took them, you know, I, I just was going, wow. Remember I told you the other day? I said, yeah, I felt this this whole new thing, and and uh, and you know how hard I run, you know. So I I I, I really noticed uh, like I didn't need to have. I don't know what it was doing it, but it, 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 I had this more awake overall feeling of, of well-being, and I, I, I came to you. Remember, I said, "Geez, what the heck are those things, man?" I'm feeling so 
so good. <laughs> you know? And now I've been in fourth, fifth. Uh, I've been taking them for, for three weeks, and I've, I've just, wow, I find my, myself, you know, not sleeping as much. I got I got so much energy, and uh, I don't know. It's just a, when I, now if I stopped, I would really notice it. You know, I didn't notice it until till it, 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 I really kicked, kicked it in about the sixth or seventh dose, and now I'm going, wow, this stuff really, really makes me feel alive. I don't know what it's doing, but. Yeah, yeah. And you were telling me the other day that, that not only did you have the energy and you find that, you know, you're, um, you're not having to, to sleep as much. And, and that's yeah. pretty cool, you know, because I know you run pretty hard. But so you're not having to sleep as much and, uh, and you have um, uh, more energy. But you were also yep. saying that you have more, more clarity, that mental fog seems to have lifted. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's like, wow, you're clear-headed, like, you know, you wake up, with, you know, when you're in grade school or something and you feel – that good, it's a holy smoke, no cloud, cloudiness, you know, and I, I like to hang out and have a good time, and uh, boy, I don't get any of that anymore, you know, just roll hard, it, it's, uh, it really helps me uh, feel good through, you know, the kind of lifestyle that I, I am living, you know. And the rock star, star lifestyle. Rock star lifestyle. You can, say, lifestyle, man. You can so, say that, yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give you permission to say that. You know, so that's uh, that's really cool. I just, I just love hearing that because you know when I started taking it, I've been taking a lot of the ingredients, a lot of the extracts from Stemolytic for years. Um, yeah. Some of them I've been taking for 15 years, not knowing that they had any anything to do with with uh, removing uh, senescent stem cells. So uh, so I didn't notice the big changes that a lot of people do, but. I just know removing those uh, those damaged those uh, stem cells, the ones that yeah. rogue cells out of your body. It's got to be good. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, it, and I, I like I said, I, I really felt it was like fourth, fifth dose, and coming in, you know, every other day, and I'm going, wow, wow, you know, it was a, it was that cl- like you said, the clarity thing uh, um, came in, and I just have this this great feel with less sleep, you know, still hanging out, you know, we roll. So, yeah, uh, overall well-being, I got to just say, you know, I felt, wow, something's kicking in right here. Excellent. Well, you know, Billy, I know you got a busy, a busy day. You got a bunch of concerts going on this weekend with some with some other musicians, as well as a a big family concert on Sunday. Wasn't that just a great testimonial? Yeah, really. You know, I mean, he's uh, he, he keeps himself in great shape. He loves doing these products because they uh, fit right in with what he's doing. So we just had a, a person from, um, let's see, over here. Mm-hmm. I don't see. Um, we had a person that was on the, on the panel that uh, um, volunteered to give her testimonial, but I don't see her. Um, I'm hoping that this is the right one. It said it was an anonymous caller, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, I'm gonna hope this is the one here. Oh, is that is that you that we're going to give a testimonial? I unmuted you. You going to give a testimonial on the on the uh, on the uh, super detox? You should be unmuted. No, not the right one. Hmm. I don't see anybody else there. That, uh, okay, I was hoping I was hoping she had, she had volunteered to, to give her testimony, but I can't, I can't see her on the panel there. So I've got uh, one more recording that I'd like to play. So um, hang in with me, and, and I'll, I'll bring I'll bring this one on. And this is a this is a, a testimonial um, from a pet. And uh, so hello, let's, hello, let's is that Renee? Yeah. This dog speaks English. Sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. <laughs> okay. I can great. hear you now. So. Okay, great. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Um, how did you say it? Renata? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Very good. So I just, uh, I've got a few questions to ask about your dog, Einstein, just to sort of share mm-hmm. with everyone. So maybe if you could tell us 
where you uh, live, like what country and state you live in? Um, I live in Watonga, Oklahoma, in the United States. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so your dog uh, is called Rhinestone. It's a so uh, Rhinestone, and he with what breed of dog is he and age? He is a full-blooded Basset Hound, and I adopted him from a family, so I'm not positive how old he is, but I'm guessing he's around 13 or 14 oh, years wow. old. Okay. And so, uh, so what was going on with your dog recently? So you had some challenges going on with Rhinestone? Yeah. So about the 1st of March, he um, lost control of one of his back legs, and he was just, you know, his back end was really wobbly, and he was dragging his left back leg, and, um, you know, I took him to the vet, and the vet pretty much told me that he had nerve damage, mm. and that it probably wouldn't correct, and that he would just drag that leg until he got sores, and then we would have to amputate it. Well, that didn't sit well with me mm, nice. as a dog mom, so um, yeah, started looking for other options. Okay. And so uh, so what did you then do? So you said you looked for other options, so what did you well, yeah, then do? I had actually been, um, you know, on the Sizzle for Pets page, and I'm pretty familiar with Sizzle anyway. Mm-hmm. And um, so... Literally, I left the vet, and I went, and I started him on the age pill that day because I was like, I will not be, we're not going to be defeated. This is, we're going to see what we can do with the age pill. Great. And uh, how much did you start giving rhinestone? I just started him on one capsule a day Mm -hmm. um, because that has kind of been what people were doing. So that's literally all he's been on is just one capsule a day. Okay. And how do you give it to him? Do you um, is it easy to for him to eat it? I mean, do you have any challenges there? I usually hide it in something, and he'll, you know, he'll take it pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, there have been times that he's, you know, kind of figured it out, and I've just had to <laughs> make him take it. But um, he, yeah, he usually will take it in like some peanut butter or a hot dog or some cheese or something like that. Yeah. Pretty easy. Yeah, because I noticed when I give it to Milo, I sometimes I stick it inside a little bit of piece of banana, but there's the odd occasion mm-hmm. that you'll notice that it's in there. Yeah. And then the, yeah. <laughs> the banana will go and the tablet will end up on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So I can Usually if I can that. get him something that he doesn't bite, then mm-hmm. I can, you know, it, that works better. Yeah, definitely. And so how do you feel that it's, like, helped him? Like, how, when did you start noticing any changes, and what did you notice? Oh, my gosh. I felt like it almost was, like, an immediate, you know, after I, I posted three weeks after he had been on it, but at three weeks he had got his foot back up underneath him, and he was no longer dragging it. He wasn't using it a lot, but he wasn't dragging it, which was a huge deal. You know, that's, you know, yeah, that's kind of warding off the amputation thing so he wasn't using it too well but he was he was getting it underneath him again and so that was that was a big thing for me you know and he was definitely getting more mobile after at just three weeks and I was like I was blown away wow wow so three weeks and so um how long has it been now for rhinestone that he's been on the age pill I was looking at that and I'm I think it's been around nine weeks now, mm-hmm. and he he's using his leg. He walks on it almost pretty normally. He goes. He's a little oh, bit wow. wobbly. You can tell mm-hmm. that he can. He still has a little bit of you know ways to go, but he's also running and he's very useful. You know, he can spin circles and you know just do what he couldn't do. And within the last couple of weeks, he's actually started using the stairs again to our oh, house. Wow. Like. Before we were having to, we had to purchase a sling to kind of help him get into the house. Mm-hmm. And he's he's now doing that on his own now. So oh, that's fantastic. He must be really happy. That's wonderful. Yes, yes. That's it's. He's almost back to almost full mobility. Um, he requires very little assistance from us. You know, he's definitely getting you know his mobility back, which was which was a big deal. Wow. 
fantastic. And so... And what a great testimonial that was, too. I, I, I just uh, thoroughly enjoy animal testimonials because, you know, the nice thing about that is there is no placebo effect. I mean, I'm not going to tell my dog, too, and I'm not going to tell him, hey, you're going to feel better tomorrow. And, and, and he's going to listen to me. Um, you know, I give him a product, you know, just like, uh, um, you know, talking about bladder infection. My dog had a bladder infection, and I gave him a uh, cord, and uh, within two days, the bladder infection seemed to go away. Um, you know, Marsha, I know that you have some good testimonials as well. I mean, you're, what a, what a just a, a tribute to the products. I mean, for, for, for your life to have turned around from where it was, uh, and now, I mean, basically, I mean, if I can say it this way, I mean, it, it saved your life. It, it literally saved your life. And uh, but I know you, you, you're, you don't want to go through the whole story today, but I know you have a, a new testimony that you wanted to share. So I'm going to hand the microphone over to you. Thanks, Kurt. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, I definitely do owe my life to the Sizzle products. I've got lots of good things to say about all of them. I feel absolutely amazing. I have my life back and... Um, you know, from being close to needing a wheelchair or a, or a walker at least, um, I'm now running again. So it's been 18 months since I've been on the age pill and a few other uh, of the amazing sizzle products that I've tried, including the Fukuyan. So I can relate to all your stories, including the puppy dog story. My my little um, Cavoodle was uh, last year diagnosed with um, uh, polyridiculoneuritis, which is a neurological disease, and she was completely 100% paralysed and on oxygen, and we almost lost her. In fact, she did arrest, and they had to bring her back. And um, I asked the vet if we could um, give, you know, her some uh, phacoidin, and they said, look, at this point, you can, you know, really give her anything because what we're doing isn't working. And it had been three days, and there really wasn't much hope for her. And that's when. Um, Sandy in here in Australia suggested that we try her on Fukuyan. So she drove an hour and a half to drop this bottle of Fukuyan off um, to straight to the vet because I, I didn't have an, um, uh, an unopened bottle, which is what the vet suggested. And then I, I went, you know, when she said, look, you can really, you know, bring anything because what we're doing is not trying. I thought, okay, I'll bring the age pill as well. And I bought the uh, Super Amigas and I bought the Balance D. So I packaged it all up and um, I, you know, wrote on all, all of the, the packets and gave instructions and within 24 hours she was off oxygen and holding her head up and eating and uh, she's made a full recovery. So um, anyway, that's not my testimonial today. Like I said, I've got lots of stories um, about all of the products, but one in particular that we don't really talk about too much is the, uh, the Supra Detox. So I have, um, through part of my journey of recovering from fibromyalgia and MS, um, I had really, really terrible skin and al food allergies and um, difficulties with breathing, so anaphylactic type of reactions with food allergies and um, difficulties with uh, you know, concentration and memory and things like that. And of course, you know, like we all know, everything starts in the gut, pretty much everything. And um, so I had, you know, tried a lot of the sizzle products, but I hadn't tried the super detox. Um, it wasn't really talked about much. Um, I had really bad dry patches all around both my eyes um, and on, on my, um, my wrists in between my fingers and on the front of my ankles. And uh, they had significantly reduced. But when I tried the super detox and found out about what mucoidal plaque is, I thought I'll give it a go. And um, it was absolutely incredible, the result that it gave me. Within days, I felt better. My hay fever completely stopped. Uh, so I had lots of, and I think since then, I've done a lot of research too about um, what causes hay fever and mucus and things like that in, in the sinus area. And it's definitely 100% connected to the gut. So if you've got a lot of sin a lot of sinus issues and you know blockages and and mucus um, in the sinuses, it means you that that's the state of your your gut. <laughs> so I um, I did the course and I, and it was very successful course. It's only a four day course. Uh, for those of you who haven't tried it, I highly highly recommend it. It's a really cheap product, like for $36 here in Australia. Oh my God, I so recommend it. You really need to, to do it. 
Um, drink lots of water, of course, and, um, and make sure you eat a lot of fiber. So women are to have 25 grams of fiber a day and men 38. So that's uh, something I learned from Katie, who's in my team here in, in uh, Australia. I never even realized just how important that was. So, you know, it's not just the products, I think, in this company. It's all of the support and the, 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 the education that you get about health and, you know, what's important, what you should and shouldn't eat and things like that. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really, really grateful for all of the products. But Super Detox is definitely one I suggest everybody should try because we've all got mucoidal plaque. And, um, you know, the, I think the worst thing about knowing you've got mucoidal plaque is what lives in mucoidal plaque, which is things like, um, you know, your, your bacteria, uh, viruses, uh, heavy metals, uh, undigested food particles, things like that. So, um, you know, if you've got mucoidal plaque sitting in the lining of your gut, then you're not going to be absorbing a lot of the nutrients, uh, even a lot of the uh, vitamins and nutrients and things that you're taking, even from sizzle. Um, wouldn't be absorbed as well as, um, you know, if, if you had done this mucoidal plaque removal. Um, it also stops and, and um, affects the digestion, you know, of your food because you've got a lot of thick, sticky, stubborn mucoidal plaque that's uh, stopping proper digestion of your food. Um, True. Yeah. So if there's anything else you want to add to that, go ahead. But that's my well, testimony for today. Yeah, yeah I, was just, I was just going to say that, you know, when you're talking about about that and you're saying how you you work on the on the gut and get rid of the um, the skin problems and, and that i mean we have we have um those mucous membranes we have that that microbiome not just in the digestive system but it's in the bladder we actually have a microbiome on the surface of our skin we have a microbiome in our nose and, and in the pancreas and in the in the, any organ has its own little microbiome of its own it's it's like its own little environment so when you're when you have mucoidal plaque in your gut, it's gonna affect every single one of those environments. Yeah. So that's why you had results of that. What a great story about your dog. You know, um, I'll have to go grab that, that story and share it again on, on the Facebook page, on the on the team page there with everyone. And, and I'm, I think I'll share your story again too because you know, um, what a, just an amazing story uh, turnaround that you had in your life as well. Absolutely, yeah. I'll send you some photos and videos of my puppy dog befores and afters. You'll be shocked. Okay. <laughs> she's as healthy Perfect. now as she's ever been. We, we go running and, and walking a lot together. So <laughs> we're both very grateful for our lives. <laughs> there you are. A pair of you. Yeah. Oh, everyone, thanks for being with us tonight. We've got some great testimonials, some stories that you want to share. And, you know, always remember that these are the things that are going to get people to um, really listen because they can relate to these stories. I mean, as you hear them, you're, you're going, oh, I know somebody who has that. I know somebody that needs to hear that story. And share it with them. Share it with them. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing is that if you're thinking about them, you need to share it with them because they're not going to find out about this any other way. And and that's that's how we get the word out about these, these products. So um, Andrea and, and Cindy and, and Rennie and, and Marsha, um, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for inviting us. My pleasure, Doc. Thank, Thank you. Marsha, is, is your uh, testimonial, I see that Randy just sent you a letter, is your uh, testimonial of your pet on the Facebook page, the pets page? No, it's not, but I'll have to do that. Lady, where are you? Lady, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, we get to see you. Wonder Doc. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Hey, you're all better now, aren't you? Yeah, you can see she's just a very spoilt little puppy dog. Very, very healthy girl. But yeah, I'll put some before and after photos of her and a video of her trying to walk again. And uh, I was giving her one age pill twice a day and I was giving her um, the coitin two meals four times a day and one of, um, well, sorry, I think it was two of the uh, Super Omegas and I was giving her two twice a day of the balanced deep. Right. And within a Thanks, week, everyone. really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Thank you. All right. Good night. I always enjoy it. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.